Infrared radiation is uh, energy transfer through waves of electromagnetic radiation. It is a form of light that's actually mentioned on the EM spectrum. So if we go look at all the different types of light, we start off with really long big radio waves, we get to microwaves, we quickly get to infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-ray, and then gamma. Okay, here. So infrared is a small section of the, in, uh, vis of the electromagnetic spectrum which carries heat energy. So if we take, for example, there's a, a model for a cup of hot liquid here. Although we'll have convection happening in the liquid as well, it'll also radiate heat outwards with little waves of electromagnetic energy. So this infrared radiation is emitted. It doesn't need a medium to travel through. This is the reason that life on Earth is sustainable. So our planet, 150 million kilometers away from the sun, this is a, a kind of crude drawing of our planet. The reason that we can sustain life here is because the sun is emitting lots of different types of radiation, but most importantly, infrared radiation, which can keep our planet warm. Okay, so uh, also the greenhouse effect is the infrared radiation getting trapped by a layer of gases, most notably methane and carbon dioxide. And this infrared radiation, some of it will be emitted back into space, some of it will get trapped here and end up heating the earth. So it does not need a medium to travel through. Infrared radiation is emitted by all things. You, me, space, everything emits infrared radiation. But the hotter it is, the more infrared radiation it will emit. Infrared radiation can be absorbed and emitted depending on the nature of the surface. If we have a white surface and a dark surface, so a white shiny surface and a dark black matte surface, matte just means rough, this surface here, the white shiny one will reflect some of the infrared radiation, it will reflect. The dark one here, when the infrared radiation strikes it, it will absorb more infrared radiation, it will absorb it quite well. So if you go into clothes shops in the winter, you get lots of dark colours because they're very good at absorbing infrared radiation. Now, it's the opposite way when it comes to emission. Dark surfaces are very good at giving off infrared radiation. So um, a white surface here is very poor at emitting it. So in terms of emission, A dark matte surface is very good at emitting infrared radiation, whereas a white or shiny surface is very poor at emission. So you need to understand that reflection, absorption and emission, giving out, taking in and bouncing off, reflection, absorption and emission of infrared radiation depends on the nature of the surface.